So one of the problems with having, you know, like this here, you know, here's here's my poor dad, PhD. What good does that do you? And the only reason I could borrow three hundred million dollars is because I had a strong financial statement. And the average person doesn't have a financial statement. And all this book is about is a financial statement. That's all this book's about. My cash flow game is only about the financial statement. This here is the financial statement for my cash flow game. This is income. You see, this is income, expense, balance sheet, asset and liability, and this is called the statement of cash flow. That's that's all I learned from my rich dad. You know, and my poor dad, all he fo and all poor people do is they focus here. You know, my poor dad, PhD, he wanted a high paying job and he wanted to keep expenses low. That's a poor person's mentality. When I talk to my friends, we only talk about this here. It's called the balance sheet. Whereas poor and middle class talk about income and expenses. I mean, they're important, don't get me wrong. But the rich talk about the balance sheet. So I have assets after assets after assets. And these guys don't have anything. So that's what I'll be talking about on the investment crisis. The reason I'm not really that concerned about my future, but I'm concerned about your future, is most people are still here. So let me give you two more things that have happened in the last, this year. A couple of days ago, an American trucking company, truck builder, they announced they'll have a driverless truck on the road in America in 2021. Now a driverless truck, what does that mean? That means there's 3 million truck drivers in the future who are out of work. We don't need drivers. The lesson is technology replaces human beings. You know, as a pilot, you know, I went back to my old squadron in Florida. They don't need pilots in the airplanes anymore either. You know, they're drones. The drones can fly by themselves. So it, it look at who's getting fired today are airline pilots. Airline, that's why Buffett's dumping airlines. All these pilots, they're losing their jobs. And what happens is these little drones fly up ahead over there. You don't need a pilot for them. And our, and, our, and our silly, silly school system still tells you to go to school, get your PhD, and look for a job. Well, jobs are disappearing. So that's the future. That's the crisis. It, you know, it doesn't have anything to do with COVID. It, it really has to do with technology also. Okay, so if pi you don't need pilots, so why would Buffett be dumping banking shares? You know why? It's because when they go to cryptocurrency, when the US dollar goes cyber, we don't need banks anymore. Think about that. You know, I, I was just in China. I use my little iPhone and I don't need cash. So not only are pilots and truck drivers going to lose their jobs, so is the, are the bankers. So the banker you go to on your little street corner, they're gone. All those little offices with like Wells Fargo Bank in America and Chase Manhattan, whatever the banks are, those bankers are out of work too. That's the crisis. So it's not just COVID. It's not just debt. It's not gold or silver. It's also technology. And remember what I said is technology replaces people. So if I was a pilot and I got hired by United Airlines when I got out of the Marine Corps, I'd be unemployed today. I'd be making about 400,000 a year. I'd have, I'd have lost my job and I would have lost my pension. If I had flown for United Airlines, I'd have lost my job and I've lost my pension. Because what happened in 2004 is Wall Street stole the pensions away from the pilots, United Airlines pilots. So my classmates who are pilots for United, they're unemployed also. And so our schools will never tell you that. 
Warren Buffett hasn't been on television saying, hey, I'm dumping bank stocks, I'm dumping um, airlines, and I'm buying gold. He's buying Barrick Gold. You know why? Because Barrick has a lot of gold to sell. Buffett only buys what he can sell. So he owns Coca-Cola, so he can sell Coca-Cola. You know, he owns uh, Fruit of the Loom underwear. So, because men buy underwear. And they're going to have to change their underwear when the market crashes, if you know what I mean. And also, Buffett owns Gillette, so he can sell you razor blades and shaving cream. And he owns an insurance company called Geico, because everybody has to have car insurance. So ladies and gentlemen, Buffett is not stupid, but he's not talking about it. So let me just leave you with this, with this investment crisis. What is Buffett doing? What is he not talking about? If he's dumping bank stocks and he's dumping airline stocks and he's buying a gold mining company, what should you be doing? You know, if bankers are going to be out of business, truckers are going to be out of business, and airline pilots are out of business, what does that mean to you? You know, when they have driverless cars, the Uber drivers, you don't need them. So this is the big, it's more than a, a crisis of money, it's a crisis of technology, and humans are becoming obsolete. 